Hey guys, welcome back again to Dave's Dimension. Welcome back again for another video. So we're back again for another unbox. Thank you for coming to the channel where chaos and insanity reign supreme. So, got a little something special today. As you guys know, I'm always on a kick for Power Rangers, Ghostbusters, but also Back to the Future. And we got our hands on another one. This is the latest and greatest to come out of NECA, it, as far as the Back to the Future line, that is. <clears throat> this is the Battle of the Bands Audition, Marty McFly. Now, this is going to be very similar to the very first Marty I got, the 1985 classic Marty with the red vest over his denim jacket. This is a little different. We have Marty with his guitar, but this is the guitar he used for the audition. Okay. Comes with that. Comes with the Save the Clock Tower flyer. It has the photograph of his brother and sister and also it comes with a vanishing hand as they show right here on the back of the box now what's a little unusual is personally i don't this is just a personal gripe as a back to the future fan why give us the vanishing hand because he's not in the right outfit now those who are back to the future fans or anyone casual movie fan who's seen back to the future one you know there's a scene when Marty is in 1955, he's at the dance, the Enchantment Under the Sea dance, and he has to try and ensure that his parents dance, they fall in love, they kiss, cementing his future and his existence. At one point, it seems like this is not going to happen, and while he's playing guitar in a suit in 1955, you know, his hand starts fading and disappearing. Giving us that hand here doesn't make a whole lot of sense for this character, for this image of Marty. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. However, if they do come up with a 1955 uh, Chapman and the Sea Dance version of Marty McFly, you, sh I mean, it would be it would be great if we could take this hand and pop it onto that Marty. That would make sense, guys. So I'm going to be hanging on to my accessories like I always do. Um, actually, for all my uh, NECA Back to the Future uh, figures that I have, I keep all the accessories in one spot. I actually have a uh, Back to the Future lunchbox right there on the top shelf right there. Um, I, that's where I keep all my uh, accessories sort of figures, so that's where I'm going to put that one. Now, on here it says, Marty McFly and Doc Brown experience the adventure of a lifetime in an unlikely time machine as they travel to the past, present, and future, setting off... A time-shattering chain of events, time or sorry, time-shattering chain reaction that disrupts the space-time continuum. Show you that right there, guys. So there we have all the accessories right there, including the vanishing hands. So there we go. Now, as you see, we the four character or the five characters that they show here. Regular 1985 Marty. We have Marty McFly, Tales from Space. That's when he's in the radiation suit. We have Marty McFly from 2015, we have Doc Brown from 1955, and we have Biff from 1955. Those are all the ones we have. Of course, on my list, I would love to see uh, either 1985 or 2015 Doc. That would be great. Um, but the ones I really want are actually part three. I want Old West Clint Eastwood Marty, and I want Doc in his, you know, his Old West outfit. I don't necessarily need the, the 1955 uh, Old West outfit that Marty wears when he drives the DeLorean back to 1885. Um, I'm okay skipping that one, guys. Uh, give us a Mag Dog Tannin, Buford Tannin. That would be great. Um, but here, there we are. There's the inside. A Marty with his pose. Now, those who've gotten the uh, first Marty, oh, right there. He comes up with the yellow guitar, the one that he plugs into the amplifier. Now, I would really love to try and do a diorama. I've never done one, but I would love to make some kind of a box with a light. So it looks like the big speaker that Marty plugs in in the beginning. I would really love to do something like that. Not quite sure. That might be a little project I do in the summer. Uh, once, you know, warmer weather... Uh, maybe get uh, some additional tools here. So uh, it says here, includes audition guitar, cassette player, cl 
clock tower flyer vanish photo and interchangeable head hands and special fading hand that's the official listing right there in the box guys now on the front it, this is a faux uh, poster I don't know if this was actually featured in the movie or not but it shows Battle of the Bands auditions we the people Friday October 25th auditions will be held until 5 p.m. in the school gymnasium you must bring your own instruments 3.30 p.m. after school. Sign up in the library th by Thursday, October 24th at 3 p.m. So what do you say we just crack into this guy? Got the DeLorean right there, DeLorean right there. Back to the Future branding. And yes, it shows Ultimate Marty McFly Audition. And of course, we have our usual branding. Universal Studios, NECA. All your usual good stuff, including the UPC code for those that need to know. So now you know. <clears throat> what do you say we crack this bad boy open? I'm going to break our buddy out. Bat Blade. You guys know I'm an out-of-box collector, so we're just going to pull him right on out. Right now, I think it's official to say that I have a ton of Marty McFly's right now. <clears throat> so, i give you a nice little backdrop right here. I know what some people have done was, uh, depending on your space, you can actually set this up so you have him actually right in front of it. So, that's a nice little cool backdrop. And a little fun fact, if you guys didn't know, um, in the original Back to the Future, when Marty is auditioning... And one of the teachers, one of the faculty steps up. He's got a bullhorn. He says, to stop it. And he says, I'm sorry, but you're just too darn loud. If nobody knows who, who that is, let me give you a little bit of information, a little bit of background. That was the one, the only Huey Lewis of Huey Lewis in the News. If you're a Back to the Future fan, you know the song, Power of Love, Back in Time. That's Huey Lewis in the news. So I love that they had him in that role. And it was just amazing. Now, we have a couple multiple hands. We have one with the pick. And honestly, this would be a really great one. Let's see if the camera can focus. There we go. It's got the metal pick right there. This would be great for uh, the first Marty that came out. Because, I mean... In all honesty, that the first one that came out with the yellow guitar, when he's doing the amplifier, there's a scene where, you know, he's got the pick. You can see the, the little shimmer of light reflects off the metal pick because he's about to jam. So that would be really cool if this would have came with that one, but I could always change this onto that one if I do some poses. So it's a thing you could do. It is a thing you can do. Now... A little, what's a little odd is they gave us the Walkman here. Um, I mean, it's odd in some respects, and I'll explain what I mean by that, guys. Um, it's odd because we really don't see him using the headset, um, except if he's on a skateboard. But this one doesn't come with a skateboard. Doesn't come with a backpack. It's just Marty with that pose. I mean, these are these are accessories I can use on other characters. <clears throat> The Walkman came with the Radiation Suit Marty, the Tails, uh, the Tails version Marty. So I'm going to see. Okay, there we go. We got the guitar. I mean, these are details on the back that we really didn't, don't necessarily need. But it's great that they did that right there, guys. Because this is what you would see on the back of a guitar right there. They gave us a lot of detail here on this one. And, I mean, as a fan, I really appreciate, you know, you got the different tones here. The color, I mean, this looks like a real guitar. We got a nice little, it feels like a vinyl, kind of. And there is some, it's got some give. So you should, we should definitely be easy to put this right on Marty. Or any of the Martys, really, if we want to. Now, he does come with an extra head. It's got kind of a surprise look, like, huh, what's going on? It's 
So, here we go. So let's get Marty out. Bear with me, guys. There's it has some plastic twist ties on the back, so we're gonna get those right on out. One down. There we go. Come on, Billy. There we go. Okay, so like I said, we have the vanishing hand. I mean, if you're going to do a vanishing hand, that's probably the best way to do it. It's a very clear, translucent hand. Give you guys a full look of that. The rest of the suit is pretty good. We have Marty's pins right there. Very good detail on the coat here. I mean, this looks... I mean, you can even pull back the coat a little bit. Hair's a little little darker, but I mean, that's... It's a very good expression on him. I mean, this really does look like Michael J. Fox. Especially 1985, circa. 1985, Marty McFly. Of course, he doesn't have his vest on. He just has his coat, his two-tone denim, with the pattern on the inside. I mean, that was a that was a thing back then, guys. Uh, who knows? It might be a thing again. You know, <laughs> different styles like to come back. Now, I will say, word of caution when it comes to these figures. Some people like to take a hot air dryer and loosen up some of the joints. I've seen some. Pretty horrific, horrific stories happen where the joints were just a little too hard and pieces have broken off. Now, the legs, they do have, you do have some bend here. You can see there's a bit of a, a hinge right here. Okay. Now, of course, that's just a solid swash, slash on the sneakers because obviously Nike would have charged NECA an arm and a leg. For the licensing right so there is that so let's uh best way probably to get the guitar on him is going to be to loop it over like that you probably want to use a different uh different hand for uh for him holding Or should I see him playing it? Playing it. So I'm gonna see if I can. Okay, took a little bit of maneuvering, but I got it off. There is another hand here, but I mean this this one holds holds it pretty well. We got Marty with his pick, and I mean if you wanted to, like most most musicians, before they get on stage, they have their guitar maybe hanging off like that. So got a very very rocking look for Marty. We're gonna set him down for a little bit. Do I have an extra NECA stand on my desk here? I am looking. Uh, no, but I have one of these. I have the smaller version, which is commonly referred to as a Star Wars. No, that's not the greatest, so here we are. On NECA stand. Yeah, that works perfect. And I like the look for that because it's black, it goes with the guitar. So we got a nice, nice look right there, guys. What do you think?
I'm digging it. I mean, I wasn't necessarily planning on getting this one, but one, one of my friends saw this in the store says, Hey, they have audition battle of bands. Do you want me to grab it? I'm like, you know what? Yeah, do it. Do it. I have to. So now I have right now, as it stands, I have all the back to the future, uh, NECA figures and I have the NECA DeLorean, which honestly, they could have done a way better job with it, but I mean, it's it's okay. It's up there with my DeLoreans. I actually have a much better DeLorean that I actually pose my NECA figures with. So um, now I need to find some room up there. Uh, I might have to move a gigawatt to a different uh, spot on the cabinet here. So we're going to see what happens. But uh, that's a problem I have to deal with, guys. Um, do you absolutely need him? No. Do you want him? Yes. Um, I mean, now I have... Let's see, we have the first 1985 Marty with the vest and the backpack and the skateboard and with the yellow guitar. Okay. Now we have, we have Tails from Space which is the radiation suit Marty that that's Marty that goes back to 1955. We have Marty from 2015. So that's our third Marty with the hoverboard and future clothes. And then we have this fourth Marty, which is now the audition Marty. So that's four Marty's. We have one doc. I have Biff from 1955 up there, which is technically back to the future two Biff because it has the, drop the electronic security box that has the ooh la la magazine in there, the sports almanac, and I believe there's a receipt for the repair work that was done to his uh, to his 45 Ford, so there we are. Now, let's give you a close up on some of the uh, extras. Here we are. We have the Save the Clock Tower. Screen accurate and oh, oh, I'm back. I don't know how long I'm gonna get this to show up. Obviously, you can see a little dirt, a little fadedness, but you also get Jennifer's phone number when she writes it down for Marty. Just simply says, I love you, and it has her grandmother's phone number. Oh, trying to get the camera to focus on that. I'm sorry, guys. Doesn't want to really focus all that well. Or it could just be that the print is so small. And also, there is a lot of dark shading on here. You guys can see it looks like more like it's kind of maybe folded up or like when you ball up a piece of paper, that's kind of how the. That could just be a defect. But there we go. It says, I love you, and it's got a 555 number on there. We have the Walkman. This is all plastic. Be very careful because this is very thin, kind of flimsy plastic. It's not hard. It's a soft plastic. And then we have the Walkman itself. Very good uh, reproduction of this, by the way. It looks pretty good. As a kid who grew up in the 80s, I mean, this, the Walkman brings back memories. <clears throat> and, of course, we have the picture of Marty... His sister and his brother. I mean, for a small little miniaturization of the picture, this is pretty good. I mean, it's not fantastic. I mean, you got a little worn piece right at the top there. Which I'm not sure what that's from or if that was... I don't think that was part of the picture, but it's pretty good. And, of course, we have the hands here. I mean, this is definitely the hand that should be on holding the guitar. Let's swap that out real quick. And honestly, if you want to do real screen accurate, oh, I this can't be screen accurate, but uh, for doing, if they do a Back to the Future 2, or rather 1955 Marty, I mean, if you just take his hand off, that's pretty, that's pretty original right there.
There we go. That's way better. Way, way, way better. So they give you an extra hand for the right, uh, for the left. And as far as <clears throat> you have the hand with the pick or you have the vanishing hand. So there we are. So on a scale of 1 to 10, guys, tell me what you think. Was this a, a 10? Was it a 1? One being your slacker or butthead, and ten being this is heavy. How would you rate this? Here he is back on the stand. Pretty solid. Now, like I said, um, I wouldn't have done the vanishing hand on this figure, but it is interchangeable with the other figures. So if they do a 1955 Marty. That's definitely something I am going to jump on. Sorry about that, guys. I dropped it. So, there we are. Battle of the Bands Audition, Marty McFly, 1985, Back to the Future Part 1. So, guys, tell me, what did you think? Did you like it? Do you have some comments about it? Some? Did you get this figure? And did you have any issues? Any quality control issues? Any pain issues? I would really love to hear from you guys, so please drop your comments in the comment section below. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. If you have some criticisms, some suggestions for this video or future ones, please drop it in the comment section below, or you can hit me up at Twitter at Dave's Dimension, Instagram at Dave's Dimension, or email me at Dave's Dimension 78 at gmail.com. So, there we are. Very quick NECA unboxing. I hope you guys like this video. I know I kind of rambled on a little bit. Um, a little bit on a sugar high today. Sorry guys, I'm just very energetic. I have a ton of stuff coming through the pipeline. We're going to be doing an unboxing of The Crow. We have Stan the Man. We're going to be doing an unboxing of him soon. I also have some other crazy goodies. I got this Hulkbuster that I'm going to be doing a review of. And you guys know that I've been on a bit of a Marvel Legends kick. We got this classic war machine. So we're going to be doing an unboxing him. So keep an eye on the channel. We have just more and more coming through the pipeline. Also, of course, I'll be doing some, uh, some mods in the future. We're going to be modding a Walmart Ghostbusters trap to make it look as screen accurate as possible. So I want to thank you guys for checking out the channel. As always, if you're not already, please give us a like, give us a subscribe, follow us for more videos like the items I just showed you guys. Those are going to be coming in, ne in the next few weeks. So please keep a lookout, guys. And as always, I want to thank you guys for checking out the channel. And as always, keep on busting, and I'll catch you on the flip side.